such was the legacy of the original war machine. It could conquer mountains. It could wade through rivers. It was a workhorse that could be taken anywhere, anytime, anyhow. These attributes have stayed on for decades. So much so that this vehicle has now become the blueprint for adventure. And to experience just how good the new Wrangler is, we've set out on our own little expedition. Late ahead of us was an outrageous 80 km long course which would require us to lock all differentials, shift to 4 low and even disconnect the sway bar. There are not many cars that can do what the Wrangler does straight off the showroom. Yes, you can list a few. There is the Ford Skur car, there is the Mahindra Thar, the three-door, the five-door is expected to come. But then again, those cars don't look as cool as the Wrangler does. I mean, just look at this thing. Looks straight off Jurassic Park, doesn't it? Um, this is the accessorized version wherein the doors have been taken off. And in are these metal doors. Now these are totally street legal and they do have a lock mechanism as well. So it does allow you for better off-roading capabilities because you don't have vision just straight up through the windscreen. You can also look down on the sides uh, through these doors and you can place your tires better. In terms of the capabilities as well, you have kit that other SUVs don't have straight off the showroom. Like for instance, you can D-Link the front sway bar and that gives you better contact with the ground. On a dry day like this, uh, it's okay if one of your wheels is lifted off the ground, you still can roll around. But when it gets slippery, when there is muck, when you're driving it through water, it's better that you have traction on all four wheels. With this facelifted Wrangler, you also have an off-road camera. So if you're driving uphill and you can't really see where you're driving ahead, you can switch on the camera and the camera will lay down the road in front of you on the screen. Also, it has a center diff lock, obviously because you can switch it from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive. But then again, you can also lock the front and the rear axle. So the capabilities is just amazing straight off the showroom. So far, we've driven it in the jungle, as you can see around. We've driven it on some seriously seriously insane slopes. I mean, there was an instance where I was just looking at the ground and the car was driving by itself. I also got a chance to use the hill descent control wherein I was not using any of the pedals, no accelerator, no brake. The car was just doing its thing. Not many cars can unlock what the Wrangler does. Up next is water wading. And this is not a water wading inside a confined area where you drive through a pool. This is us crossing the river, an actual river, Satluj. <laughs> While we are on our way to the riverbed, I thought it's a good time to tell you about the changes that the 2024 model gets to itself. So on the front, it gets a new grille. It's a lot bigger, but the slats are slimmer and that allows for better air cooling. Not much has changed in terms of the design except the alloy wheels. Um, with the Rubicon, you get 17 inches. With thicker rubber, with the Unlimited, which is a more highway focused version, you get 18 inches. What an experience this is, right? Traveling without doors, exposed to every natural element out there. In terms of creature comfort, you get a 12.3 inch screen has a lot more connected features there. It also gets ADAS, so it has front collision warning, it has adaptive cruise control. The front seats are powered, and yes, they have been tested for water wading as well. In fact, new upholstery for the leather, and that can take on some water splashes. This entire cabin, you can hose it down from top to bottom. In fact, if I pull down this armrest, you can see some water residue here, which means this leather does not mind a little bit of water here and there. Um, 
I'm here in the second row, in the middle row of the car. It's not the spacious, not the most comforting place to be in, but then who cares about that? I just look around. This is such an experience. Reminds me of the days when we used to travel in those tempos, but then again, this is a fast SUV. Um, although it's powered by a 2 litre turbocharged engine, 0 to 100 comes in at 8.7 seconds, which is impressive for a car this big and, you know, something that is running on those tyres. It's really, really massive. And behind me, you can see Punjab, quite a beautiful experience. I can't wait uh, to experience uh, what Jeep has laid down for us. So I've never really come across a media event where we have such amazing activities planned for us. Uh, this is the most aggressive track that Jeep has planned in its eight years of existence in India. And it shows because through a lot of those obstacles, my heart was literally in my mouth and there is still more to come. I honestly cannot wait to cross River Satluj in this car. So I'm expecting a lot of water to come on the inside because we have no doors. Um, and no, I'm not carrying extra pair of shoes or pants. Uh, but still, it's going to be an experience like no other. <laughs> Imagine driving a car straight from the showroom and crossing a river with it. And these are stock cars, brand new vehicles with less than 1000 kilometers and no modifications. All we are doing is driving them in poor low and look what the Wrangler is up to. And that one there is without doors. So there is water coming on the inside, but we are driving it with no fear of the electronics going bad or the carpet getting soiled because the water can be drained using those drain plugs. And the car is extremely capable as you can see. Uh, look at that monstrous thing crossing the river. And because if you're an outdoorsy person, if you love adventure, if you like doing these sort of things and if you want to just buy a car and start doing it immediately, the Jeep Wrangler is something you should buy and yep, the water level has started to raise again. But yeah, this is me on the banks of River Sutlej looking at a few Wranglers crossing and having a great time. Brand new vehicles. This is a media drive. It's fantastic. It's just epic. Huh, time to dry my shoes though. If you are Saif Ali Khan, what variant of the Tari intends on buying, it's either going to be the Rubicon or the Unlimited. I mean, anyone who has the buck is not going to look at a Thar or a Gurkha. They're going to look at the real thing. And this thing is not pretentious. This is the real deal. This is that iconic SUV that has inspired many off-roaders across the globe. It has such a great cult following all over the globe. If you're looking for a true blue off-roader and money is not a problem, just go buy one of these. It's just fantastic.